There you go. <laughs> that's a gift now, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's definitely I'm making that. Yeah, that's going that's on Slack, happening. probably. <laughs> yep, appreciate it. Thank everyone for joining us. We are now going into the sixth week of our CTF, and obviously we have moved from Android. We are now in Linux. With me today, we have Mike Williamson, Tara Melton, and Jessica Hyde. Good morning, y'all. How are y'all doing? Great. Good. So you have a good weekend. Exciting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was good. Yeah. Things are calmer yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, well, it's awesome. Awesome. <laughs> for a week. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah, last week we had Jamie McQuaid's uh, first Linux question, which proved to be a little challenging uh, for uh, a lot of people. This week, obviously, we have Mike that's going to be issuing his challenge, which I knew when Mike offered to help out with the CTF, it wasn't going to be an easy one. And uh, he has <laughs> proven that to be correct. So, I, I'm going to go ahead and let everyone know that there's going to be a challenge. <laughs> that being said, we have done the first month roundup. I big congrats to Dr. Joshua James. He is the current leader at 445 points. Uh, he has racked up a lot of points with different trivia, some custom artifacts. Uh, make sure we've got a blog going out today as well that'll kind of recap the first month with uh, a lot of the blogs that we have been reading ourselves as well and kind of talking through that. We also have uh, picked some random winners who are also going to be getting some uh, prize packs as well. So your information is going to be in there and we'll be reaching out via the email that y'all signed up with the CTF too. So that being said, make sure to check that out over on the blog today. Say right? again. Like, find out if you won. Yeah, Check out absolutely. the blog. That's the only way you're going to know if you won. Yep, or your yep. email. But, and yeah. you're going to be. Getting, uh, <laughs> the, the random selected winners are being picked by the participants each week. So if you're participating, you're definitely in the running. We are going to be issuing out either t shirts or hoodies with a custom magnet CTF uh, design on it. So that's what you just won. So we will be uh, reaching out to get that information from you so we can ship that to you. We also have, I guess it's my turn to go through my solve today. Day. And so I guess we can start with that and then we'll roll into this week's question. So that being said, my question uh, started off the title Animals That Never Forget. Yeah, that's all um, fun. <laughs> <laughs> Here come the references. Oh, love it. <laughs> love it. So, yeah, Animals That Never Forget. The question was uh, Chester likes to be organized with his busy schedule. Global unique identifiers uh, change often, just like a schedule, but sometimes Chester enjoys fishing. Uh, what was the original good for his fishing expedition? And uh, I limited the chances to three, just like Jessica did. But that being said, I think the one word that a few people kind of jumped over and it, it, me it messed him up a little bit was the original GUID uh, versus current. So that being said, let me share my screen really quick and we'll do a quick walkthrough of what that looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to walk through it a couple different ways. First, I'm going to go over to the artifact view and with this, I want to scroll down to mobile and really I was trying to figure out when I started uh, this particular case, I wanted to figure out, you know, what could I build my you know, question around? So I went into mobile. I then went down into the Google Play installed applications, you know, and then started kind of looking to see what maybe applications I could start digging into. But just like Apple, Google has the reverse domains. So just do a quick filter on this. I want to see more of the third party apps here. So I'm going to do exclude com dot Google. I've never done that. That's really? Brilliant. Yeah, no, yeah. I've never done an exclude there to get rid of the packages that are default. That's the yeah. smart. I do that all the time, especially with the Apple ones. Yeah, just to get rid of everything Apple. So yeah, you can do that on Google too. That's so yeah. smart. Damn yeah, it. absolutely. <laughs> um, yeah. So hey, there you go. That, that's your little bit of trivia for this Monday morning. That is a good um, tip. I've never done that either. Yeah. So thanks, Trey. Yep. So from here, I can see the account that it was associated with. I got several different packages that I could kind of dig into, but the one that stuck out to me was Evernote. And obviously kind of alluding to my title, Animals That Never Forget, Evernote's logo is what, Jess? I don't know Evernote's logo. I know that's really, really sad. You got me. No. It's an elephant. I know. Elephant. Oh, I know the logo's an elephant. I thought you meant like their trademark. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, just, just <laughs> an elephant. So that was. I was trying to guide people into looking at Evernote here. So that being said, why don't they I call it Ivory Note then? <laughs> Sorry. Very nice. I like it. I like it. <laughs> so I see Evernote's here. So I'm going to go ahead and just hop over to the file system. And when I get to the file system view, I wanted to kind of dig into what Evernote 
uh, was looking at and you know navigating down you know looking inside the app bundle when we start seeing here we have a lot of good uh, data that we can start kind of digging through and I'm just going to scroll down and look for the Evernote DB and let me pop that out really quick here the table is actually super easy GUID updates and when we go into that we have the old and the new so the question being what is the original we can look through and see that it was in fact going to be the original GUID from here now that being said that's how I walked through my solve the examiners here were validating each other's work when I reached out to Tara for her to validate mine she did it completely different way and honestly it makes total sense I don't know why I didn't do it that way so that's one of the reasons we love seeing y'all's blogs because it's definitely you know we're learning actually how y'all are working through you know these solves as well um, and y'all are doing things a lot differently than we are and it's awesome so I'm, I'm learning a lot from y'all just watching that Tara did it a different way in that she actually just went up and just uh, typed in uh, fish that's super easy because that was actually I'd misspelled uh, fishing from what Chester enjoys in the you know question and from here you can see we have this would have guided you seeing that there's some fish 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 with Evernotes that would definitely kind of had guided you in the right direction but she actually just went into the uh, log main dot text and then she just started digging through the entire log of Evernote and she actually found where the good was changed from the current to the uh, old or excuse me the old to the current so that being said she she went a completely different route on that so a couple different okay. ways you could solve that can yep. i share how i did it because i started with the fish thing but then i went a different way and absolutely <laughs> so if you go back to that same just pop that back in uh the fishy fish fish in the evernote when yep. i went through and i read the document it was probably the thing so then it had the source link to the evernote db so if you click on the source note for the evernote yep. db i went there and then once you get into the and I remembered where it was notes one table notebook one snippet one. So if you go to that DB uh, and then go to the the notes. There yeah, we go. There, there we go. go. And you go to the notes and then I saw the message in the notes that so I got the original notebook GUID there because I could see the fishy yep. fish fishes notebook GUID. Yep. Uh, so I see the the one that's there for the C eight O eight B. Yep. And then when I had searched for that table, I saw the drop down for the GUID table thing. Mm -hmm. So then I went straight to that GUID update one, remembering yep. this one. I went to GUID update. Performed and then one. I saw the old one, the new GUID, yep. GUID and the old GUID, and that was how I did it. Perfect. So I like no, the fact that that was yeah. three completely different ways of doing it. Yeah. That's awesome. That yeah, for me, I focused in on the fishing. Like that to me stuck out. So that's where I, I started it. But um, I would have searched I did for notice. elephant. So I don't know if I would have. <laughs> you know what? That's, that's ele 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 elephant. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well that's done. Awesome. Well done. Very well done. But a, a lot of the write ups that we're reading um, are going similar directions as all three of us did too. So it was kind of cool to see. Um, some of similar uh, thought processes than we were having as well. So yeah, that's pretty cool for solve. Now we're going into week six, but before we uh, disclose what the week six or challenge is, let's go ahead and Mike, do you have some trivia for us? Yes. So over the last couple of years, I've been known to author a blog or two. Um, and in one of those particular blogs, um, I talked about a well-known secure messaging application and specifically mentioned a very specific commit on GitHub for the post. And so the trivia question is, what was the commit hash that I talked about? Ooh, tricky one. All right, I was, I like I've it. been trying to like change it up, you know, having seen yeah. some of the other trivia questions and I, <laughs> You know, Jamie, uh, we, we're not going to give him the award for originality with his, uh, <laughs> his LinkedIn question. Um, <laughs> but uh, Harsh, but yeah, well, I mean, and I'm sure I'll be judged as well you, with my you know questions. What? Can we give him can we give him some credit, though, because I know you all just finished last week's uh, yes. re, uh, CTF question from Jamie, and I will say that's a doozy. There's a reason that was 75 points. Yeah. So let's give him some credit where he deserves exactly. it. Yeah. Oh, no, it was a great yeah. question for sure. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what? For this week, so the first person to answer Mike's trivia, obviously over on the Discord, uh, you know, definitely wins. We have been doing five points, but I feel like this one's a little bit more in depth. I think you're gonna have to do a little digging. So maybe ten. I mean, how are y'all feeling about that? Sure, sure. why not? Sure. Nine point five. <laughs> you know what? Let's do. I think we could. Is it being tracked with?
hint? Do we know? It... <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. We're gonna go. I spent too much time talking things. with developers now, so I'm just <laughs> full on. I basically speak in, in code now. Got it. <laughs> Let's go with ten points uh, ten for this points for yeah. Yeah, Mike. And first person to get it wins. But with that. Mike, I think you've done something a little bit different this week too with your questions. So let's go ahead and close and open up the week six trivia, or excuse me, the challenge question. So that means the week five. So Jamie's question is now hidden and uh, week six is unlocked. So Mike, let's talk about uh, this week's challenge. Yeah, so again, I was trying to do something a little bit different. Um, to be honest, going into this, uh, it being the Linux Hadoop image was already different enough for me. I feel like, you know, like an Android CTF question, I might have been, I don't know, I might have had some more ideas going into it, but I, I ended up learning a bunch kind of creating this question. Um, so I think that was kind of cool. Uh, I also didn't know it was possible to do a two-part question. Um, so I'm glad I talked to Trey about it. Uh, in advance. Um, so the way it's going to work is you'll answer the first question, get a certain amount of points. Uh, Trey, fill me in on how many points that is. Uh, so the question first one. question is going to be 25 points. Okay. And so once you've answered that successfully, it opens up the second question, um, which is worth a great deal more. Uh, that one is... That one's going to be 50 points. Right. So the idea is, is that if you don't get completely to the end with it, you can still get at least some points towards the, you know, the overall um, by, by doing the first step. So as far as the question goes, I'm not going to kind of, you know, read the entire thing. Um, but essentially Hadoop, uh, I needed to Google when, uh, like I'd heard of it before, um, didn't know it was an elephant related to it. Um, the title of my challenge is the elephant in the room. Um, so definitely some wonderful, wonderful memeing going on with these questions. <laughs> I hope everyone uh, heard that. <laughs> 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 so, so you'll have to go into your trunk and look for, you know, all your skills. They have two tasks uh, on this one. Yeah, two very important tasks. That's right. Oh, uh, so, uh, what I will say is there are three EO one files with this data set. Um, there's the main one, and then two secondaries. Um, so we're dealing with for these questions the secondary uh, images, um, not the main ones. So just wanted to let that be known. You already gave um, them a hint. You're being nice. Well, it's in the question too. So, and to be honest, like I feel, I feel like hints are okay when it's a tougher question, right? Yeah, no, definitely. Um, yeah. So uh, I won't talk too much about the second part of the question because I want folks to to solve the first part. Um, but essentially, it it goes uh, into uh, when Hadoop gets installed on a machine. Um, you know what happens and what necessarily goes right and what necessarily goes wrong. Um, so it's a little bit of an investigation into what went wrong during an install. And um, I don't know that I want to say much more than that. No, that's can good. I, can I make a shout out to Ali Hadi for creating such a fantastic training image? Uh, this image has been really, really cool. And we've all been learning a lot from it. So I hope you all are too. So big shout out to Ali. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, no, thank, I'm so glad that he let us uh, use this because I'm definitely learning a lot as well. And I think, yeah, we all are, uh, especially with Hadoop and all. So awesome. Well, so as Mike said, you get, if you unlock the first question, you will get a second part. If you can only do, you know, the first one, you're still getting some points. Uh, so definitely, you know, keep that in mind and uh, give it a shot. But once you uh, complete the first challenge, uh, if all works according to plan, you should then have be prompted with a second challenge uh, with a second uh, question as well. So report back in a couple weeks and do a walkthrough and uh, Mike will show us how he solved it. Jess, who do you have on Cash Up tomorrow? I am so excited. Tomorrow, I have the one and only Geraldine Blay. If you guys don't know Geraldine, she is one of the most amazing examiners. She does fantastic research, and we may even get a surprise visit from her canine electronic sniffing partner, Siri. So nice. really looking forward to tomorrow. Love she that doesn't have Siri. an elephant partner, though. <laughs> Her partner is a pup, not an elephant. That's awesome. I do have an elephant joke, if that would be OK to throw in. I think I we should do it. I love it. it. OK, um, why do elephants need trunks? Because they don't have glove compartments. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
<laughs> I mean, it's it's true, right? I mean, they don't. That's fair. fair. They don't. It's fair. <laughs> Thank you so much for that, Mike. That made my day. You're welcome. <laughs> my my Monday has been made now. Yeah. Yeah. You know, everybody. You, I'm just gonna put out that Kevin Bagano and Joshua James and Kevin Rhodes are now gonna be scratching their heads trying to figure out how glove compartments relate relate to the Hadoop cluster. So, <laughs> So okay, I got like another that, one. I feel like I feel like I could it. throw in another one just because it, they're they're great jokes, right? Um, <laughs> what game do you not want to play with an elephant? Memory? Squash. Oh! <laughs> you know what? I like the memory though. I like that. That was yeah. good. Yeah. Squash. <laughs> memory forensics. <laughs> oh, that's, <laughs> that's great. Well, with that, thank y'all, and we'll see y'all next week where we will have another Linux question. This time, we'll actually have Craig Guyman, who is director uh, of our solutions consultant team, and he'll be issuing out the next Linux question. Uh, so with that, have a great week, and uh, reach out on the Discord if y'all need anything. Thanks. Good luck, see everyone. Ya.